right guys, so this should be a pretty interesting video. I was driving the Super the other day and I hit 30 pounds of boost and Haltech put a safety feature on the ECU when I hit 30 pounds of boost, it cuts fuel. Um, I don't know why I hit 30 pounds, uh, so I was driving, you know, ripped pretty good, ripped really good because it was running 30 pounds and then it cut. I was like, what is going on? Did it a couple more times and I was like, what the heck is going on? It's not cold or anything. So I popped the hood and noticed that this hose was torn right here. This hose right here, it almost looks like it was intentionally done. I think someone might be sabotaging me. But this hose went to, uh, if you can see it over here, this T-fitting. So this hose goes to the compressor housing, and this goes to the wastegate, and the other hose goes to my blow-off valve. So at this open, my wastegate pretty much isn't doing anything. And that got me thinking. A really random thought. And How much boost could duct tape hold? Completely unrelated to this, but I was like, if I'm running 30 pounds, I wonder if I made a coupler out of duct tape and using hose clamps, how much boost could it hold? Like if you were in a pinch and all you had was duct tape and you had to get down the road, could it hold anything? Five, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds? Um, so I'm gonna be using Gorilla Tape and Project Farm actually just did a video the other day comparing all the popular duct tapes and Gorilla Tape was really high up there, not the best, but better than actual duct tape. So. I'm going to use nothing but Gorilla Tape and hose clamps to make a coupler on here see how much boost it can hold. And I know it's pretty dangerous, you know, if you do have a big gap and it pops, the engine could suck duct, duct tape in, and I'm willing to take that risk for you guys. So I'm going to try to do it the best way I can and see how much boost the duct tape can hold. I should be able to data log all this with my phone and the OBD2 adapter I have in the Haltech ECU. I should be able to data log all that. And I'm pretty confident that it can hold 10 to 15 pounds of boost before popping. Um, and I'm gonna try to do it in a way that if it does pop, that it won't get sucked in. I'm gonna try to not have a big gap in the pipe. So we're gonna take one of my perfectly good and working couplers off, make it out of duct tape, and see what happens. You ready for this adventure? I am. Okay, so here is my perfectly good silicone coupler that has held 30 pounds of boost plenty of times. We're gonna take it off and replace it with the best one that I think I can make with duct tape and see how well it holds up. So that is the gap we're gonna be dealing with here. Nothing too serious, uh, but I'm going to clean this up with alcohol to make sure it's Super, super clean. Duct tape it as best as I can and uh, hope for the best result. I'll use some glass cleaner to clean this. It should do a good job. Bless Hi. you. Why would you use duct tape as a coupler? Maybe uh, one of your couplers ripped, or maybe you lost one, or you finished a turbo kit install and you really wanted to drive it but didn't have the right coupler and you just wanted to see if it would dry. So, uh, I don't know, whichever reason you might have. But we're gonna see how strong it can be. So this is the tape that I'm gonna be using. It's just Gorilla's duct tape. I'm gonna start off with strips going long ways. That's probably a little long. I'm gonna do Maybe like a 20% overlap. You know, this tape really is strong and thick. I'm actually really confident that we can make some horsepower. Okay, so we have all of the lateral pieces going this way all the way around. Now I will wrap it, and I'm gonna wrap it tight. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wraps around here. And I think we have about probably the same amount going around. And it is feeling really sturdy, actually. I think I will do another layer of wraps and uh, then one more layer of horizontal and then I'll hose clamp it and see how much boost it holds. Alright, okay, before watching the rest of the video, in the comments below, 
type in your guess. How many pounds of boost will it hold? One, five, none, negative 10? Who the hell knows? Put it down below and uh, yeah, I'd like to see what you guys think. So now let's take this thing out. So we just got back from the shop, just did a quick run with that. And 19.9 pounds of boost was the highest boost recorded on my data logger. Like I said, I did put my vacuum line back onto the turbo, so we're just running what I have the wastegate set at. I didn't want to run 30 pounds because that's not what this car is tuned on and I don't want to damage the engine. But 20 pounds, I think, is enough to call this video done and awesome. So if you're in a pinch and you need a coupler and you have some Gorilla Tape by all means, you can make one and run a pretty good amount of boost. I feel like it's not a matter of how much boost you can run it, but it's for how long. Because being, you know, going through heat cycles, being outside in the weather, I think that'll degrade the duct tape and probably, you know, hinder it over time. So I'm pretty confident you probably could do 30 pounds of boost with Gorilla Tape wrapped the way that I did it. Um, but I think it's a question of how long. Because all that expanding will probably, you know, hinder the adhesive and all that. Um, but if you do enough duct tape, hell, it might last forever. I don't know. But I'm pretty proud of this stuff, and I think 
This was a whole lot of fun. So I'll show you, it's still on there. Um, it's not damaged or anything. It doesn't look like it's swelled up or anything. It's still on there. And it held together just fine. And uh, yeah, you can hear that the engine's clicking and warming down. So this, this was not fake. We put 20 pounds of boost through that Gorilla Tape. So I like doing little experiments like this and I, I use Gorilla Tape mainly because I had it. But Project Farm, like I said, did the video comparing all the duct tapes and Gorilla Tape was up there. Uh, not the best one, but it's better than your standard duct tape. So if you had like the actual duct tape brand, I'm not sure how well it would do with this, but the Gorilla Tape handled this awesome. I couldn't be more proud of it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. And uh, yeah, now you know you can make couplers out of duct tape if you need to. One more question. Yeah. Where did you get that lovely shirt? My girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Mark III Super Shirt. Red Mark III Super Shirt with my red Mark III Super. And actually, those are the taillights that I used to have on this car because this is an 88. I did the 89 plus taillights on this car, but those are the taillights I used to have. I think, yeah. Yeah. And I used to have a bumper, but I no longer have a bumper because Smash Bar. Okay, bye.